questions. Okay, then we Thank can you. go to the next speaker, Dr. Muskan Garg. Okay, she will be speaking on the evaluation of cognitive impairment in POAG patients. You are Dr. Muskan. Good evening, respected judges and audience. Uh, so I'm going to present on a study on evaluation of cognitive impairment in primary open angle glaucoma patients. Uh, so POAG and cognitive impairment may be associated since both are age-related neurodegenerative processes. Glaucoma patients with uh, uh, cognitive impairment are likely to forget their medications and that could be uh, leading to worsening of their disease. Increase in level of endogenous cortisol found in POAG has also linked to neurodegeneration as high cortisol level damages hippocampal neurons. Cognitive impairment may be in undetected in glaucoma patient and can uh, contribute to the poor quality of life. Uh, so our object objective were to evaluate the cognitive impairment in patients of primary open angle glaucoma and to correlate cognitive impairment in glaucoma with retinal nerve fiber layer and ganglion cell thickness, visual field and endogenous cortisol level. A study was uh, done at Dr. RK Center for Ophthalmic Sciences uh, with, uh, 70, uh, with sample size of 70 POAG patient and 70 age and sex match healthy controls. Inclusion criteria were patients of primary open angle glaucoma with age more than 40 years with best corrected visual acuity, better than 6 by 12 in both uh, eyes, uh, educated up to 5th standard and willing to give informed consent. Patients of PACG, secondary glaucoma, eye disease other than glaucoma that could have affected RNSL and ganglion cell thickness. Patients on systemic medication which could affect cognition, patients with diagnosed neurological and psychiatric disease and patients with chronic systemic di disease were excluded from our uh, study. Uh, so uh, after uh, appropriate informed, uh, after uh, meeting the inclusion criteria, the patient who did not mean were excluded, their informed consent were taken, uh, their evaluation was done, their demographic details were taken, their ophthalmology evaluation, including best corrected visual acuity, IOP, monoscopy, slit lamp biomicroscopy, uh, uh, visual fields, RNSL and GCL OCT, uh, blood sample for cortisol level, cognitive evaluation were done and they were evaluated. Uh, test for cognitive evaluation included Adam's Group cognitive examination for comprehensive cognitive evaluation, CGI memory scale test for comprehensive memory domain, Wisconsin car sorting test for execute uh, and Gonogo task for executive functioning, and train making test for attention. These were the cognitive tests to te uh, test the specific and different domains of the uh, of cognitive uh, evaluation. Uh, so our uh, age and gender were comparable between both the group and. Uh, uh, IOP cup disc ratio were higher in cases and mean deviation and RNSL thickness were lower in cases. Uh, on uh, at <coughs> on a, uh, in primary open angle glaucoma patient, we found that A score was significantly lower, indicating comprehensive cognitive impairment as compared to control, as we can see in 13 out of 17 parameters also. Uh, in uh, Also on the PGI memory scale test, uh, we found uh, lower scores indicating decreased comprehensive memory as compared to control in POAG patient. Uh, in, uh, we also found lower executive functioning in, on Wisconsin card sorting test and Gonogo task in POAG patients. In uh, uh, trail making test A, we found that the uh, time taken to complete the test was significantly more by cases. In, ti uh, in time uh, t uh, TMT B, the time was taken more, but uh, it was not statistically significant. In, so, uh, and uh, with correlation, we did not find any correlation of retinal nerve fiber layer and ganglion cell layer thickness uh, with the, our uh, cognitive uh, impairment, but we found that uh, the higher cup disc ratio were associated with more uh, uh, Wisconsin card sorting test error and less number of correct and lesser mean deviation with more cortisol level, more time taken in Wisconsin card sorting test and TMTA, uh, which all signified co uh, correlation of cognitive impairment with visual field and cortisol level. So we found cognitive impairment in uh, primary open angle glaucoma patient and pro, uh, positive correlation of POAG severity to cognitive impairment in terms of visual field and vertical cup disc ratio. However, there was no brain imaging done and it was a cross-sectional design. Uh, so to conclude that POAG may be associated with a neurodegenerative process and can adversely affect compliance to therapy, performance on visual field and overall quality of life. Neuromodulation therapies for improving cognitive defect deficits can be considered. Increased cortisol level may be associated with cognitive impairment in POAG, so lifestyle modification to induce reduce stress may be considered. Thank you. I think it's a new concept you have brought out. Uh, 
club together we can call it as a forgetfulness isn't it uh, sir, for in layman term in layman cognitive i mean reaction is a Maybe technical lay, term so term. did you te uh, go for all these tests yourself or you took uh, help of uh, neurologist or psychiatrist sir, I, uh, sir, psychiatrist like uh, they told like i have done tests in front of them too into the mic please sir uh, uh, these tests uh, were uh, some discussed with the psychiatrist he, he was from, uh, you know under like he is the co-author of this also under his guidance i have decided this test he told me that these are the tests to uh, test the different domains of the cognition there was previous study regarding the same thing also but they have uh, the, just done a screening test also uh, like different domains were not checked earlier of the cognition so this is a uh, in our study different uh, domains were checked and that uh, like he only told to check uh, these tests were like good to check those domains did you go for mri in all these cases no sir mri we have not done it as an objective test like the said like i said in it, that is the main like we are thinking to do objective evaluation in terms of mri in future it is it was just these tests were done but no objective te uh, test in terms of mri or eeg or apneas were done in our study so basically you want to say that it has been like a screening uh, sort of procedure has it been a screening like procedure uh, uh, will confined to our opd only no uh, sir it was uh, because such cases require multi i mean uh, dimensional yes. approach yes, multi faculty sir, so, approach yes sir so next step uh, 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 our next step would be an objective approach also like we have seen this and now we are uh, trying to objective uh, we will see also that if on those tests also we found some uh, Uh, like uh, some deficits in brain or neurodegenerative elements by obje uh, by these by the other tests like you said MRI or uh, EEG or uh, F uh, infrared spectroscopy. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, sir. Sorry. Yes, sir. Uh, there are many the patients, particularly the younger generations, they have a plus high plasma cortisol level, mm. yeah. but without any cognitive disorder. How can you correlate with those patients if it's a steroid-induced glaucoma or other things? Sir, but uh, ours, mm, ours is not young. Like the patients which were taken mm. were more than 40 years. They were not like in the younger like age. Mm, uh, you know that uh, cognitive impairment mm. also associated with age. Yes, sir. So that's why. How do you? How do you? Uh, Separate that thing. Sir, that's the age and uh, age match controls were taken. Mm. Like the same age patients uh, controls the controls with this, they had the same age. Like they were age and sex match control were taken, and that's why we are saying that it is not age age based only. There is age based. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, sir. Okay. Thank you, Dr.